anticipate or wait in anticipation August Archois. Big Dax is tossing people all over the ring. So Superstar August, of course, has been declaring he was a veteran since about three months in the sport. Yes, sir. Now he's probably about at six or seven, but uh, what does that make him, a super veteran? Well, somebody that definitely believes in himself, but we have seen him bring it here at ACW. He can definitely back it up. Look at the size of the men left in the ring here. Is this the final three? We're down to the final three, and it's gonna be a war. Guile is gone. Guile is gone. Look at this. What a battle we're down here, down to here. Number 19, number 14, 19 Orlando, 14 Sterling. Which one of these two? Two of the biggest guys in the Rumble, two of the toughest guys in the locker room. But wait a minute, wait a minute. The fans are pumped. Oh, they're just gonna go at it. They said, let's just do this. And they are pounding away at each other. Two big bulls. Superstar, we have seen Mike Orlando, Jake Sterling have their issues before in the proving ground. And Sterling keeps improving, keeps getting better in his rookie year here. Oh, well, counter by Orlando. Both of these men were involved in another counter of an ACW heavyweight champion back in December. Wow. Which one of these men will get to choose the championship of their choice at a time of their choosing? But we basically have a stalemate here. Each one keeps going for a power move. The other one counters, and now they're just pounding away on each other again. What's it gonna take for one of these two men to fell the other here superstar? This has become a true war of attrition right now! That sit out spine buster, I'm telling you. This was a regular match, that might have been all she wrote. Shining Wizard rocks Jake Sterling. Sterling might be out, that might be it right there. What's he gonna do? He's setting him up. Reversal. Oh, knee to the face! You heard him, Jake Sterling, wait, saying that's it. Orlando wait a tied up. Wait a minute, that's August for 12. Wait, wait a minute, was he in? Wait, was he still? What? What? What just happened? Had he not been? Arizona, wait a minute. Are you telling me he was playing hot? August Artois was never eliminated, superstar. I thought he was, I thought it was, and we missed it. He literally was playing possum under the ring the whole time. And what an ingenious move by Orgus Latois. What an unbelievable move. Number 11, making it through this rumble. And August Artois, I am in shock right now. Wow. He is about to be awarded a contract that he can sign which ACW championship he wants to face at which time. What a huge, huge win for August Artois. You said it's not always pretty, but it can be very, very effective. Straight to DVD. Is the combat champion gonna be victorious here? That's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. Pinfall. Ah. Steven Ow. Rick gets a shoulder. How? Out. How did he do that? How is he kicking out? How is Steven Frick still in this match? I am at a loss, superstar. I mean, he took those brutal drop kicks in the corner, right to the face, when he was in that prone position. 
And now, that DVD, I mean, I thought for sure that was over. You saw the face. He's saying it's over. He's going to go for it again. You saw the face of Danny Vincent was in shock, but like you just said, thinking straight to DVD again. Counter from Frick. Huge spear. freaking spear. Is this it? Spear. He got him. He got him. Wow. Man. Ooh, what a fight. What an absolute fight. Bragging rights. The bragging rights go to Steven Frick. What is going on on the stage? That's a August Art Artois. Wait a minute. Wait, what's it? Wait a minute. Is he, August? Wait. August, he's not claiming claiming his, his his prize right now, is he? But who? Who is August Artois out here to face? What? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to that August Artois. Is cashing in his contract for a world heavyweight title shot. What? Can he do that tonight? It's at time of his choosing. Well, I guess the time is now then. Oh, you're kidding me. Really? You're kidding me. Well, Steven Frick couldn't even get up in August Archois. Stomping the champion. This match hasn't even started yet. August Archois. Might be the smartest athlete in ACW because who can blame him? If this is legal, this is actually signed, sealed, and delivered and happening. I mean, the ACW Heavyweight Championship is basically right for the pickings right now. I mean, it's official. This is happening right it's now. It's actually happening. We've got a bonus match. Spear! 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 And it might be over as quick as it started. Huge freaking spear, Artois down! Going for the pin! Pinfall! What? Hey, wait, that's over, right? No. Did he get it? No, do you see the I arm? Thought it was a do you see the arm of August Artois? It's I thought under it was a ropes. three count. I swear I thought the referee counted three. At the last second, Kai Douglas saw the arm of August Artois under the ropes. And now Artois is fighting back on Frick. Oh. Forcing Frick to eat a boot. And Frick oh just went God. through hell against Danny Vincent here. I would not want to be Steven Frick when he wakes up tomorrow. Oh my God. If he wakes up tomorrow. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Oh. Reverse DDT. No. Brutal. One, two. Is that it? No. I got he counted. Yes, he counted. Hey, you. Are you serious? What a heavyweight champion! What? August! What? And now he's gonna pile drive him on top of it? What the oh hell my is going god! On? Oh my god! I don't understand. I thought the official threw this out. I don't know. Then the officials say no. Apparently, we have a new ACW heavyweight champion, and Steven Frick might be crippled. Seven wow. months. Seven, Seven months into his wrestling career, and August Artois is the ACW heavyweight champion? How is anybody gonna live with this guy? Matchup about to make her way to the ring, Catalina Perez. Superstar, you gotta give it to Catalina, has gotten in phenomenal shape, cutting weight. We've seen her regularly on AEW Dark. Yes. 
And think about it, they get opportunities in AW Dark to train with guys like Dustin Rose. You get to get in there with Billy Gunn, guys that have some serious talent and knowledge. It's a great opportunity to learn and we're gonna find out tonight how much better has Catalina Perez gotten since we last saw her in WWE. She's definitely making a name for herself all over the wrestling world. And I'm excited for this one, man. I'm excited for this whole night. I mean, we're just, we're only one match into this. Oh, my mind's blown. Gomez recently made her return to WWN at Proving Ground. Tonight, getting to face off against a longtime Proving Ground rival in Catalina Perez. And listen oh. to the crowd. She's definitely has a huge following. Yeah, right WWN now. faithful behind Lexi Gomez. They appreciate the blood, sweat, and tears both of these ladies have given yes. to this building. Wait to hear this. I just heard some news. Coach Kidman. I don't want to take away from any of this, but you know, when putting this show together, I was wondering, well, damn. Lexi, I got a lot of history with you, and Catalina, I got a hell of a lot more history with you. Right? You can take this positive or negative. But I was sitting there looking, and I said, you know, Ali Rex, she's a great ACW Women's Champion, but unfortunately, she's injured. So I got an idea. ACW Faithful, I want to know how do you feel if we make this for the vacant ACW Women's Championship? Well, I think that's a done deal. Let's do it. So we got a bonus here. Superstar, if you don't mind, I'm gonna invite Coach Kidman. Is that okay? I'll tag him in for you. Thank you, sir. It's a special occasion. So as you might have noticed, for those of you who could see the shots where I disappeared for a moment, I went to the back, tried to quickly get to the bottom of things. Uh, Coach Kidman, so you said it, Ali Rex currently injured. There's not a timetable on when she could return. ACW officials decided, let's vacate the championship, crown a new champion here tonight. and. You were the one to deliver the news. Yeah, hey, I mean, listen, I figured there's no better way. Like I said, got a lot of history with Lexi, with the Rapture, got a, even more history with Catalina and the Dynasty and K&K. &K. So I figured there's no better person from, than me to go out there and deliver this news. Well, that's it. And, and so once again, I talked a little bit before you got here about proving ground. And in fact, for the many, many matches these two ladies had, the blood, the sweat, the tears, oh, yeah. nearly destroyed each other. You nearly got destroyed, I believe, yeah, in that I went, same matchup. I went through a table. I, I almost got destroyed. Part of the American Combat Wrestling YouTube, something you can check out after you enjoy this evening's Golden Glory. But right whoa, now, whoa, whoa. the stakes have gotten way higher here for this women's division matchup. It is now for the ACW Women's Championship, a championship that Catalina Perez has whoa. held before. This is true, this is true. I was managing Wait, her at the time. Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. I was managing her at the time when she won the championship, part of the dynasty. That was a very good achievement for not only her, but for the group in itself. Catalina charging into the corner. Lexi got out of the way. Kyle, I've talked before about how strong Lexi Gomez is. Oh, man. Yes, yes, yes. She is a beast. The running knee, rocking Catalina Perez, and Catalina dropping some weight. Another thing I mentioned before you got here, she may be finding herself in a little bit of a different situation, perhaps a little more gas in the tank, but I think she might be a little bit more used to being larger, being able to toss over on Lexi. I don't think it's going to be so easy anymore. I agree, I agree, I agree. Wait, pitfall. One count only, emphatic kick out here. Speaking of dropping weight, look at Kai Douglas. Spending a lot of time in Costa Rica lately. 
there working for a good cause. Jaguar Rescue back here in the States. And what a snap suplex. Lexi Gomez to Catalina Perez pinfall. It's great to see you here, Coach Kidman. Oh, yes. It's also great to see you here, Trevor. I'm happy we were able to come together and put the show together for, for my dad, you know, to honor his life and the legacy he left behind by running ACW for, since 2013. Absolutely. Know? Absolutely, in this very building here, the Gulf View Event Center doubles as the WWN WrestlePlex. Your father, Heathy Schneider, this is the, literally the epitome, the personification of the work that he put in to Fifth Avenue Entertainment. I agree. Wholeheartedly. And these are two ladies that he was always proud of. What a DDT from Catalina Perez here at Alexi Gomez. And you see Catalina coming to fire. Lexi now trying to get back to her feet here. Listen to Catalina. The jaw jack, spinning heel kick as well. Woo! Basically go to sleep there in that elbow as well. I mentioned it earlier, Lexi Beautiful. Gomez hits hard. She does, indeed. Uh oh, uh oh. Perez is prone. Oh! Did you see the torque on that ace crusher here? Pitfall. Two count only, but man. This has become a match with even greater stakes. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> the ACW Women's Championship on the line. Neither lady oh, was coming oh. here thinking they had a chance for gold. Catalina just forcing Lexi Gomez back into the corner. And you got to think Lexi there thought she had Catalina prone, but it's what I mentioned earlier, the shape Catalina's gotten herself into. You can see yeah. suddenly there's additional strength and energy in her, in really her constitution, if you will. Uh oh, uh oh. Lexi now trying to muscle up Catalina. Catalina hold on for dear life. Oh, Savak kick takes down Lexi Gomez. You see how intent you're watching this here, Kyle. I know, I'm, I'm very intently watching this. I have a close eye on this, obviously, seeing as how these are both people from my past. Absolutely. Again, Kyle Kidman managed Catalina Perez for ages, it felt like. And then, of course, once part of the rapture with Lexi Gomez as well. Exactly, and I was a part of this great war that we could say of Catalina and Lexi and myself. I was also a part of that, you know? But right now, really reprising their battle against each other, except gold is on the line oh, here. Oh! oh! Beautiful. Sit out into the pin. We've got a new champ! There it is, there it is! Here's a and new ACW Women's Champion, Lexi Dolan! I cannot believe it! Coach Kidman! Well deserved, well deserved. You broke the news from WWN officials. New champion being crowned here, impromptu, and Lexi Gomez overcoming Catalina Perez. What a great match. What a great match. And you can see mutual respect here between these ladies. Once again, Catalina Perez, a former ACW Women's Champion. Now Lexi Gomez joins her in the record books as a gold holder here in WWF. All right, I'll be right. I, 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 gotta, I gotta go do this one. Hey, where are you going? Coach Kidman just left the announce position. Kyle Kidman in the ring now. Congratulating Lexi Gomez. July 3rd, my first title fits. Yeah, of course I'll be there. Yeah, I'll be there. Hey, um, let me call you back. Congrats, champ. I gotta say, I've been around you for a while. I've seen how hard you work to get there. I'm very proud of you. But I think we have the opportunity to do something. 
I think we've got the opportunity to make sure you keep that. Listen, we've, we've got a lot of history, right? No rapture, but Catalina. The only goal is that, just you and me, trying to make sure you keep that. No, like what you said, we've tried it before. We have a lot of history. But look, at the end of the day, we're different people now. That's the old us. We've grown. We've evolved. I'm a different girl now. It's just, I could do this on my own. I, I don't need anybody to help me. Jalen Moore is here. I've been training at the WWNTC Training Center for about three or four months now. Hey everybody, it's WWN official Kai Douglas here at the WWN Training Center here in Newport Ritchie, Florida, where you can learn everything from your in-ring to your entrance. You can work on everything from referee times, working with an official, getting that real match experience, things that you can't learn at other schools. If you ever wanted a career in professional wrestling, it starts right here at the WWNTC. We offer a 14-month tuition. Every fashion professional wrestling business that you want to learn, we will teach. All we ask of you is when you walk through that door, you give us 100% dedication. Because we're going to give you our best, and we want that best from you. 727-401-2836, give me a call. Test yourself. You want to create that inner superstar? Come see me right here at WWNTC. With that being said, be on the lookout for me in the future.
KCW Heavyweight Champion Arbitrage Bond. The championship is being disrespected by this young brash man heading in. You call him brash, but when I think of him and the likes of, I don't know, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, guys that had a gift for gas, that believed that they were as great as they, thought, as they said they were. And his opponents. And you mentioned Shawn Michaels, a man that August Artois, wow, in some ways feels like he patterns himself after, but truthfully, to go to the talent, all the bad things you can remember about the attitude of a Shawn Michaels is exactly what's embodied in August Artois. But like Shawn, he can back it up. Oh yeah. I mean, there, there's no doubt, this kid's not a flash in the pan. He's not just a mic talker. He's not just some, 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 you know, 170 pound punk with a big mouth. No, 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 no. He is a talented individual who is traveling the world as a musician with a band signed to a record label long before professional wrestling came into his life. And now he's here to do professional wrestling the same exact way he did with his band and with his music all over the world. And Frick using those ropes to get up, and he does. And are we gonna see a huge Frick and Spear? No! The official! Did you see August Artois, the leapfrog, at the last moment? But Spear does connect! I know it was inadvertent, but the official taken out by Stephen Frick, and what a spear it was. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Fire thrown to the face of Stephen Frick. Inverted DDT or reverse DDT takes down Frick. Is this it? Artois victorious, you can still Here smell is your fight. winner, it's still the CW Heavyweight Champion, August Artois! You can smell sulfur 
single time for the last, I don't know, five, six years. I've made a difference the second I walk through the curtain. Every single time I come this close, this close to becoming the face of this company, I get screwed. I have to defeat 10 different people in order to get a number one contender shot at the ACW Heavyweight Championship. I have to have matches with people that have these big, long-awaited comebacks that just get championship matches and eventually become champions. And now, after destroying Jake Sterling, destroying him, on the 3rd of July, when ACW presents Pride, August, there's nowhere to run. No keyboards to hide behind, no Facebook to keep you safe. Veteran? Veteran, I know the joke, I get it, brother. I get it. 29 years old, and I'm a veteran of 11 years already, boy, and I'm still a kid, just like you. Difference is, I'm smarter, I'm stronger, and I'm just straight better. And there's nowhere to run anymore, kid. <laughs> 